So this doesn't look much like a conveyor belt yet, but we're about to fix that. We're going to start by going up here to where it says create. And we're going to create a cart part called conveyor belt. We want to create that part on the mid plane of this tank tread gear. So I'm going to scroll down to where it was and click on the thing that says mid plane. All right, now that I have that there, I am going to go to start a 2D sketch and I want to sketch it in the middle of that guy there. I'm going to go to my front view and this is at a funny angle but it won't really matter. Right click and go to project geometry. We want that center point there. We want a center point of one of these guys up here. We want a center point of one of these and a center point of that. Let's go to a circle. We're going to use that middle center point and the one from that middle center point, the one from that. Zoom out. We're going to draw a big line across the top. Right click, go to line. We're going to draw a big line across the bottom. Go up to where it says tangent. Click your line. Click your circle. Click your line. Click your circle. Repeat. Right click, say OK. Right click, Go to trim. Or trim off the extra bits here. Or trim off the inside bits here. And now, right there, where those two come together, we are going to make a work point. So let's finish our sketch first. And this is a 3D kind of a thing. So I'm going to go here where it says point. I'll find that right there. Okay. Now that I have a point, I'm going to go to a rectangular pattern and I'm going to grab that point. The direction it's going is this way and I want it to go not just for one inch. I'm going to change this from spacing to curve length. It's going to measure the length of this entire curve going around. So it's 32.299 and the number of points that I need is going to be 32.299 divided by, and if you know the distance between that point and that point, it becomes very, very helpful. Uh, in our case, this is going to be divided by 0.386. And before you click OK, click these two little arrows here. We want the direction to adjust, and we want the orientation to be the same as direction 1. Click OK. So I'm going to make a whole bunch of those little points. Okay, we're also going to make this sketch visible and go to return. So we have a, a part that's not actually a part. It's just something for us to pattern a part on. That's the assembly line. Now, this guy here. Uh, first off, he is upside down. That's okay. We're going to fix that in just a second. Uh, secondly, I don't know if there is a secondly, but we do need to fix the fact that he's upside down. So let's go here. This tank tread guy, it still has that plane. And here, maybe. Oh, not the tank. That I'm on conveyor belt. I want the tank tread. All right, that midplane. I'm going to mate with this midplane, so it's all lined up. And drag that up a little bit. When I click on this and hit the plus sign, you'll notice it says "constrain at start point." <laughs> That's really convenient, right? Uh, let's grab that, and we want that to be constrained. So I'm going to say constrain and my start point is going to be that little guy right there right where the the straight line starts to become an arc I I think it's that one here hold on just one second let's see if we can't uh, turn off our adaptivity for just a sec 
that's right click on the thing with the blue and red circle uncheck adaptive and see if we can't move that out of our way I think that's actually the point that I want we do have to make sure we turn that adaptivity back on though so if you want to move these gears you have to turn off adaptive before you go forward turn it back on oh this is already past five minutes but you know what we're just gonna make this the long video so there's that one this guy we're going to go to uh, where was it constrain on path constrain at start point we want that to constrain to this point right here and say apply and it'd be nice if he was facing the right way okay we're going to tell this again this piece here is this one it says constrain on path there's a plane for that so I'm gonna click on that plane and say constrain and I click on that line that I had and hit apply and that straightens it out for us okay last thing I have to do is I'm going to say pattern there's my component and then the feature I wanted to go around that rectangular pattern that I made back here but that was in a model view I'm in an assembly view so I click the drop down go down to model view and then scroll all the way down to where the conveyor belt is click on the rectangular pattern and hit OK there you go not too bad